Hi, in this session we'd like to look at the Mangar Surfer Bather, which is a paediatric or children's bath lift. The Surfer Bather is another pneumatic product from Manga, and this time we will be using the Airflow 12 battery compressor. First point we want to make with the Surfer Bather is that it's designed to make bathing of children easier and more fun, both for the child and the parents or the carer. I have to point out though that we do have a couple of guidelines as far as sizes are concerned. The first thing to point out is that the maximum height of our child can be no more than 4 feet 5 inches and as far as weight is concerned we're great up to 50 kilos. The total weight of the product is 8.7 kilos but it does however split down into two sections. So we have the top platform and then underneath the bellows and the base. The next thing we want to do is to show you how to actually fit the surfer bather into the bath ready for bath time. So we're ready to install the surfer bather into the bath. You'll notice on the bottom of the base plate we have a section of suckers. Large sucker at the back, second large sucker in the centre of the bather and then four smaller suckers at the front. The thing to do is always make sure the four smaller suckers by the taps of the bath. So we're now ready to actually fit the surfer bather into the bath. I do this quite simply by placing the platform as near to the back of the bath as we possibly can. So the big back sucker is up against the back wall of the bath. That's going to give us as much room as we can possibly use in the bath. One thing we also want to make sure is that we, when we elevate the platform, the end of the surfer bather is short of the taps. Once the surfer bather is in the bath we need to connect the hose to the airflow 12 and this is done by simply putting the white connector to the white port. Push the hose in it will click into place. The next thing is to connect the remote control which is basically up and down. The jack plug goes below the hose and connects here. Please remember that with the airflow 12 we could always use the up and down buttons they're on the top of the compressor, if that's easier for mum, dad or the carer. We're now ready to inflate the platform. Basically, up and down from the remote control, and as soon as I put my thumb on the up button, we start to inflate, and up comes the bath lift. I can stop this at any time by just removing my thumb from the button. What we want to achieve is basically the platform being level with the top edge of the bath, just like that. Please also note that as soon as we start to get to a position ready to inflate the bath lift, we can put the water into the bath. We're therefore optimising bath time. From this position, our child transfers onto the bath lift. To lower into the water, it's quite simple. I just revert to the down button, push the down button, and the weight of the child will now push the air out of the cushion and we load into the water. Again, I can stop that at any time by just taking my thumb off the button. One great feature here, obviously, is that the child is now hands-free. So parents or carer don't have to hold on to the child while we're in the bath. So now let's look at some of the features that the surfer baby will offer us. Let's start at the back of the bath lift. And first of all, I'd like to talk about this back support. You'll notice here that we have three different settings that can support the backrest. To move those settings round, all we do is just slide the bar forward and move to the appropriate position. This gives our child four different settings for actually enjoying the bath. Maybe one it higher to wash hair, maybe lower down to play. When we have repositioned this backrest, we'd always like this little catch to be put back into place. It clicks in, and pulls tight. The reason for that is if we're having a great time enjoying our bath and splashing around for instance we don't want this rail to come out of position. The next part of the equipment to look at is this mesh uh, netting which is totally adjustable so as the child grows we can adapt to fit all different sizes. Looking at the top of here we have a foam headrest which is attached to the back on Velcro. That Velcro does mean that as we grow we can move up and down. Further down here we have a large Velcro belt. 
unfastened will fit around child's tummy just to keep them more secure. It doesn't have to be used, it's totally up to the individual and the circumstances. The bottom section here is another foam pad, which ideally will offer support behind the child's legs. Further down on the leg section, we have another Velcro strap. Again, this can offer support, but does not have to be used. It's purely dependent upon your own circumstances. So, once our bath is complete, the bath lift has been reinflated, the child can be just transported from the bath lift out of the bath. Maintenance of a surfer bather is really easy. All we need to be able to do is just rinse it off, uh, let it drip dry. As we previously discussed, the netting can all come off and just be washed. The pad can also come off, but just wash that. Don't put the pad through a washing machine. That won't do it much good at all.